Hello everybody and welcome back to these uh, computer tricks video trainings. Uh, back to scripting today we will try, we will find a command to use uh, so we can change the power button actions in Windows 7. Right, so instead of log off to show disconnect or lock or restart or sleep or whatever. Uh, what we do these days we use uh, SCCM to deploy OSD images so we <coughs> we try to build scripts so we can tattoo the image to to fit the um, the corporation requirements right so for today we're gonna use registry and we're gonna create a command to change this uh, power button action right here right so the key it's in it's gonna be for the current user so it's in current user um, software Microsoft it's gonna be Windows current version Explorer advanced you wanna see this key right here start power button action right so this is this is the key we need to change right right now the value is 1 so we can change it to, I don't know, for example, switch user is 100, log off is 1, this is log off, uh, lock is 200, restart is 4, sleep is 10, hibernate is 40, and shutdown is 2, I think. Yeah, 2, shutdown is 2. Okay, so we're going to change this. You can change it right here, but what we need is a command that we can run in a script to do that automatically when a user logs on, right? So... Let's open a command line and we will use the reg add, reg add command which adds a registry key or modifies an existing one and we need to modify, let's see, it's hqqdent user, ECU, let's make this, let's keep current user. software Microsoft Microsoft Windows current version current version current version explorer advanced right so that's that's the location we're gonna do we're gonna use a V switch which uh, defines the actual key that needs to be modified and that's start and power button action right and we need to specify the type for the key, and in our case, it's reg D word. It's a D word key, regc D word, and the value. We need a D switch and assign a value. Right, right now it's one. As we said, we're gonna assign it to two hundred for the button to show lock. Right. Yes. And there you go. It was changed. It just got changed. So if we go to registry now and we check it out, it should be changed to 200. So there you have it. Of course, the user needs to log off to log back into it and for this to actually show. But this is the command that we that we have to use, right? We use in a script with a with a switch uh, a slash y already, so it doesn't ask for you to for you for um, a confirmation and everything works just fine. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos and don't forget to check out our blog watermark, watermark the, at the bottom of the video. Thank you.